Hello everyone, I'm Miss Mark. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm using a couple of things I got from Art Snacks this month. They sent some designer squash, I think made by Royal Talons, and then a paintbrush. I can't remember who made the paintbrush. <laughs> um, and then I also used some of my own stuff because they only sent a yellow and a pink color. It was magenta, I think or rose and then a yellow ochre so I added a blue and then I used uh, added my own paint brushes and honestly I think I used my own paint brushes for most of it. I really like the brush that they sent and I think it would be fun but this painting was just too small to really make any good use of it. It was really cool to use gouache again. I haven't used it in a super long time and I have rarely used gouache straight out of the tube. What I usually use is stuff that can be um, reactivated. So using fresh gouache was a cool experience. I can't exactly describe the difference when it comes to painting, the difference between gouache and watercolor. I know the simplest description, I guess, <laughs> is that gouache is more opaque, but something about like the way they actually feel when you paint is different too, not just their opacity. I'm not quite sure what it is. It just uh, has a slightly more buttery feel, but that might be just because they're fresh out of the tube and they actually are buttery because <laughs> they're not hard. I don't know. Anyway, um, the blue gouache that I'm using, I can't, I don't know if you guys saw it in the beginning, but it's Arteza. Um, I have like the giant 74 color Arteza set because it was on sale for Black Friday. So um, I've barely used it, sadly but pulled it out for this. <laughs> um, the character that you can see here, in case you're new here and you don't know, this is my comic character, Eleanor. I create a comic called Dazer and Eleanor, which you can read over on Webtoons. It's kinda on pause right now, but it's returning in about three weeks as of right now. <laughs> so I felt like I didn't draw Eleanor like just being cute and pretty very often. I draw all days that are being very handsome a lot. <laughs> but uh, I don't draw Eleanor that much and I was thinking about that. And I remember, I remember back in my college days, it seemed like I drew like pretty cutesy girls all the time. And I was wondering, I genuinely don't know. I was wondering if I burnt out on it and I just didn't want to do pretty girly stuff anymore um or if i felt like maybe i was too old for that and then there was sort of this false maturity thing like i wasn't allowed to do it i still draw pretty girly stuff <laughs> it wasn't like a total change but i don't know i just feel like i don't draw princessy eleanor as much as my young self would would possibly have drawn her i don't know maybe it's just that's just my perception I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know, actually know why I'm mentioning that. But anyway, oh, I remember. The reason I was mentioning that is I just really, the last couple of weeks, took time to doodle some cute Eleanor pictures, and it was really, really fun. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm drawing my pretty princess character, and it's so fun. And I wonder, you know, if maybe that's, I've been avoiding it. It feels almost like a guilty pleasure, or it feels superficial I don't know but yeah allowing myself to uh, kind of just run off in the princessy direction felt really good this week <laughs> last couple of weeks I guess I've got some more um, images already inked ready for paint so hopefully if the if all goes well I'll be able to record it and share the next few girly pictures with you guys too <laughs> Anyway, back to the actual painting supplies, since it's an art snacks thing. <laughs> I can't call this an unboxing because I didn't film the unboxing or a review, really, because I'm not experienced enough to review them. But I will say I really liked the colors they selected. I've been getting art snacks since January, I think. And the last few boxes seem, from what I can remember, seem to be kind of pen or ink and pencil based which is totally cool, but I felt like the last couple of boxes I didn't get any supplies that were amazing to me. I have a pretty good collection, so that's 
you know, <laughs> that's what it is. Um, but I got really excited about this box because I just think gouache is awesome and I love painting and I don't have that many types of gouache, unlike pins. Like when Art Snacks seen, sends fine liners, I feel kind of like, gee thanks, <laughs> more fine liners. But gouache is a different story, so I got really excited. And I loved the colors that they sent because, I think I was getting ready to say this, um, in the past when they selected colors it's been like kind of sort of monotone. Just the last couple of months it seems like I get like a green and a gray or something, I don't know, just I haven't felt super inspired by the colors that they sent. But I actually got really excited when I saw it was a rose and a yellow ochre. I was just like, oh. These look gorgeous together. I already know. All I gotta do is throw in a blue and I have a perfect set of primaries and it's gonna be exciting. And it was. I really love them. I found myself kind of missing red, like true red. I kind of use it a lot for um, skin tones. But even though I felt like I wanted to reach for it, I actually think this painting looks better because I didn't have it. It just... It just looks more cohesive to be limited and adding a red I think would have been too tempting <laughs> to add it in everywhere. And I kind of like that her skin tone because it uses just the yellow ochre and the rose. Um, I think it fits her hair better. Like, yeah, something about it. Yeah, like I said, it just is more cohesive this way. Um, I had fun with those flowers in the background. I don't know what kind of flowers they are or plants or greenery. I don't know what they are. I just made them up and doodled them one day. Um, I've been trying to make, like, have more fun with my sketchbook spreads, you know? Not just do character, but if I feel like doodling flowers, just doodling them. So that's where those came from. Um, in general, I think I mentioned this on Patreon, in general, I've just kind of been enjoying my sketchbooks a bit more lately. Specifically my watercolor sketchbooks. Um, I just feel like I... I've shifted my purpose for sketchbooks instead of being for studies and practice and get better and pretty pictures. Um, it's kind of for me to have fun with my art and, and ideas. And I don't know, I feel like I just finally like got over this hurdle of being afraid of my sketchbooks not being used well. Like I needed to be able to prove that I deserved them. <laughs> And I've gotten over that and just been like, this is my playground, and it's fun, and I want to use it, I want to use my supplies, and uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with them lately. It feels like, you know, kind of a return to before I decided to be legit as an artist, before I was professional, uh, maybe? <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, overall, I really liked the way this painting came out, and I really loved using the paints. Um, it wasn't like, like... I'm gonna get rid of supplies and just use these or anything like that. Not that kind of amazing experience, but if you've never used gouache, I think these would be good. And I think these two colors together worked really, really well, especially when I added in the blue. I Maybe I should challenge myself to just use the two that came in the box. Maybe. Mm, probably not. <laughs> that doesn't actually sound fun to me. Um, yeah, so I also decided after I got like the painting pretty much done, it just wasn't feeling, just wasn't quite clicking. So I tried adding some details and then I did something. I haven't done this in a long time. I love doing it. I got out my color pencils. I actually really, really love adding final details with colored pencils. These are, um, I can't remember if I used just one brand or the other, but my favorite, my two favorites are the Caran ones <laughs> and uh, Faber Castell's Polychromos. Um, they're they just really show up well on the color, and they when I use them to add kind of reflected light, they just add so much punch to the image. It's such a simple little tricky step, <laughs> just a little trick. Um, but they really add so much to the video. I think my voice is starting to go. This is actually the third voiceover I've recorded this evening. I wanted to get a bunch of videos done and I had the footage all ready for voiceovers, but I kept putting it off. So my voice is ready to go to bed. <laughs> um, 
and that's probably okay because I don't think I have um, too much more to add. Do I have anything important to tell you guys? I think I already mentioned my comet comes back in three weeks. Um, if you aren't already, you can, uh, if you aren't, <laughs> if you haven't already, you can read Dazer and Eleanor over on Webtoons. I'll put a link in the description so you can get all caught up before the comic resum resumes. I am super excited for it because I have like seven episodes just like ready to go right now. Almost ready to go. <laughs> they still need some things. Um, and so when I relaunch in May, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but when I relaunch in May, it, uh, it should be non-stop for quite a while. Yeah, at least seven weeks. <laughs> More than that. So I'm just super duper pumped. And uh, that might also be why I'm having so much fun in my sketchbooks. Like I do so much quote unquote real work for the comic that sketchbooks are my unwind and relax zone. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this rambly video and hope you're having a good day. And, and, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.